My name is Beth Mugo. I'm the president of the Rotary Club of Naivasha. Today we're here at Olkalao at the School for the Disabled. Today is a day of fun. We've come to spend time with these kids. You know the kids have special needs and in our society we tend to hide them away from the limelight. So today it's a day to appreciate them, to love them, to share a meal, dance, sing and have fun together with them. And my wish is uh, any stakeholders within our region who's ready to partner with us can reach out to the Rotary Club of Naivasha and be able to make such memorable events to such special needs kids. For me it's to just bring the kids bring them to the society, let them enjoy everything, they are, they are entitled to everything. These kids are special and they are able differently, but they need our love, our support, and with all they can be able to achieve more than every other kid. The government should be able to reach out to stakeholders and be able to be able to implement such projects so that also these kids are entitled, they get education, and they get medical and financial support. The government needs to do a thorough check, but for like Rotary, Rotary is international. So it's a well recognized internationally, yes. And there are a group of volunteers who are ready to assist and serve the community. My name is Sister Ruth Jerry Kamundia, and I'm working here with the Disabled Children's Home. So we have a population of 230 who have various disabilities and the majority of them are, we admit them through screening and then the doctors come and uh, access them and when they find that they have a need to be operated, they come here and from there we start the rehabilitation. And here in the rehabilitation, we have a physiotherapist who take care of them. They are 30 in number, and we have also caregivers. So here, they are also operated every year. We operate over 120, 140. And then from there, they are operated in our hospital in Kinagop. And they come here after three days. From there, they, t they are taken care of. We have the caregivers and the physiotherapists, and we have the nurses and the CEO who take care when they are here. They have been doing well, and uh, we thank God. It's like a miracle that's happened here. So they heal in a way that we don't, we cannot explain. It's only God who who have been working with them through the grace of God. We are working with also some schools and also some other homes who bring the children here and they are able to get all the, the care, the treatment, and they go on with the school. We have a school here, the primary school. It's a public school where the government found it worthy to give us the teachers so that we can be able to, to take care of the children. We are also facing some challenges. Some of them are not able to pay the school fees because they come from need the family. Some are able to pay and they are well up. So we are usually getting problems with the school fees and to take care of them here. Especially also the medical part of it, we struggle to get it.